hello. Okay, this is gonna be not very funny or anything video. It's just gonna be me talking, giving you some inside look into this head and into your head. I'm not very good at explaining this stuff because I sound like a toddler talking to another toddler. But today, somebody was talking to me, said something that got them thinking that got me thinking, that's gonna get you thinking. Um, basically what they said, which I thought was like a thing that applied to both of us, maybe it doesn't, I don't know, is um, just feeling emotionally done, done and drained of like some certain things. Now in my case, that'd just be, I'm, I don't really feel much sadness or depressed. I mean, I can, and I do, but things that would normally impact somebody to feel that usually don't me. Um, which is weird, because in my life I've never really been, like, depressed or sad, except for Two years ago, and a little bit of last year, was just a constant stream of feeling that. Um, and what got to what got to that point, I am not too sure, but I do know that a big starting point for people is when they start to like unlock the thing of thinking realistically. And it is a good thing to think realistically and not set goals too high or be overly confident of anything, but I feel like thinking realistically kind of brings somebody down because they think of all these different possibilities that may happen that won't, um, and that just like over time, just go from being a happy frog to a sad frog, a very sad frog, and uh, that's, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too sure if that was what happened to me, but when I was a sad frog, I think it was like almost an overnight thing, I became a happy frog. Um, and I don't know why, like when you feel depressed or whatever, people always say, Everybody feels that in their life. It's normal. And I feel like that's just a thing for them to ignore you and not help. Which is why I'm so open of, if you feel that way, just throw a wall of text at me. And I will listen. But, I mean, that's that. Um, because... I, I don't know your experience or like what you're feeling, but I could somewhat relate from my experience. I don't know if I'd like be overly open about me. I mean like, I don't know what I said should be enough, I think. And yeah, I mean, but to the emotionally drained part, like what gets you to that point of just feeling done because after I became a happy frog, I kind of just stayed that and never really became a sad frog from being impacted by things most people would be, as I've said, uh, which is just weird to me. I don't want to be like sociopath or anything at all. I mean, I feel like I care about people, but a lot of people tell me that I don't. Or that I'm like super self-centered, which I try not to be. I'm sorry if I am. If I am, just snap your finger at me and tell me. And I'll stop being on me all the time. Because it's just how I am, I, I guess. But, I don't know, I get told all these different things. Me, me, me. And I notice I'm talking about me right now because you're watching the video. There's probably a hundred different people watching this video and I can't directly talk to you unless you message me and we'll talk about you. But, I mean, 
I guess just kind of like apply what I've said to your life. And if you ever felt just emotionally done, drained, things like that. I don't know. Thinking about life. But, I mean, I guess things are going pretty okay right now. But tonight's been like a weird night, so that's why I'm just saying this. Anyways. Yeah.